Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel. October 26th, 2017. Now they want to put more tolls on the roads. Uh, I, I, you couldn't make this up. Okay, Cooner Country. Here is now what is taking place. So, as you know, they keep sucking and sucking. Hold on. What's that sucking sound? That's them sucking money out of our wallets. Now they want to suck even more money out of our wallets. So listen now to this. Um, a state senator from Lynn, Thomas McGee, who, by the way, is running also as a mayoral candidate against Judy Kennedy. So instead of just focusing on the mayoral campaign, no, 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 no. He's a real moonbat's moonbat. And so now he's pushing for more tolls on all roads and highways all across Massachusetts. So he is now spearheading the effort up on Bacon Hill to now take even more, suck more money right out of your pocket. So listen now to this. Um, Tolls now could soon be coming. Route 128, you drive 128, they're coming. He wants them. The Democrats like it. He's pushing it. Tolls on Route 128. Tolls on Interstate 93 through Boston. Route 1, uh, I know that. That's one of the routes I take almost every day. Route 1, south of Interstate 95. You're on your way to Gillette Stadium, for example, to see the game. Blank you. They want a toll right there. Um, route 2, portions of Route 2, loaded up with tolls. You live in the Lynn area. They're going to load up tolls. In other words, wherever you live, 95, 93, Route 2, uh, Route 1, Route 128, they want to line them up now with tolls, according to this guy. So he's now calling for tolls now to be set up there, electronic tolling with the Easy Pass, uh, to be set up there by the end of 2018. And he says the reason why, we need more money. We need more money, he says, for building roads, uh, infrastructure, operation, maintenance, repair, replacement, enhancement of the road and highway system in Massachusetts. And not only that, but listen to this. Not only do they want to put tolls pretty much everywhere now, just load up the place with tolls, but furthermore, they're calling for equitable treatment of all drivers. What does that mean? That means that uh, those that drive during rush hour, peak periods, the cost of using these roads, these highways, these tolls, will actually increase. They say that they need to do this to discourage driving at peak times i.e. rush hour. So they don't want you driving during rush hour. They prefer you take, I don't know, the train or the subway or the bus or a bike or whatever it is. So if you're going to be driving during rush hour, they want to increase the cost of the tolls. Morning rush hour and afternoon rush hour. Furthermore, he says not only is this going to be used for you know, operation, maintenance, repair, replacement of the roads and highway system. Also, this is going to be used to fund the MBTA. So, here is now, in essence, what this guy is planning. What Thomas McGee, State Senator Thomas McGee, Moonbat McGee, he now wants, and the Democrats are pushing this right as I speak to you up on Beacon Hill, it's coming down the pike if we don't block it. What they now want is to have you pay more for using all kinds of roads, all kinds of highways. They're going to penalize you if you happen to work for a living. So if you work for a living for a job, they want to hit you even more for driving during rush hour. And they want all of that money to be used allegedly to pay for the MBTA. Really what it is is, is for the pensions. Because they have these astronomical, out-of-control pensions. They don't know how to pay for it. So it's a massive redistribution of wealth scheme. 
This is the only way the Democrats can keep their hold on power, which is to take as much of your money from your pockets and then re redistribute the wealth to their special interests, whether it be those on welfare, EBT, illegals, MBTA, you name it. That's the scheme. However, it's not a tax hike. They're not raising it. See, it's not a tax hike. No, it's a fee. It's tolling. Come on, everybody uses the roads. We just need more tolls. So it's not, quote, a tax increase. It's just we need more tolls. We just need more tolls. It's a cash grab. It's a naked cash grab. And it's a naked cash grab in a state that has a massive road fund that the politicians keep raiding because they keep stealing the money. For example, I don't know if you know this, but Massachusetts leads the entire country. It's not even close. And how much we pay for maintenance per mile every year, per mile per year, nearly $700,000. We pay for our roads to maintain per mile per year. The national average is 162000 We pay nearly 700000 Many of you are going to say, but Jeff, 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 come on, it's Boston. This it's popul it's overpopulated, it's congested. And what? New York City isn't? Philadelphia isn't? Baltimore isn't? Atlanta isn't? Chicago isn't? Los Angeles isn't? Dallas isn't? They have been raiding and stealing from the road fund for years. And when these politicians, like they recently did, give themselves a $20 million pay increase, some of them like Porky Pig Bob DeLeo and Stan, St Senate President Stan Rosenberg, uh, almost a hundred, sorry, forty-five to $50,000 just extra salary, never mind the benefits. It's got to come out of somewhere. So now we've got to put more tolls on the road. Now we've got to load up with tolls. And I'm reading this guy's bio. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, first of all, he's in a mayor's race. <clears throat> he's in a mayor's race. Um, why is he not focusing on his mayoral campaign? But no, he's, hey, these guys, they always have time to take money out of our pocket. He backs an effort to declare Massachusetts a sanctuary state. So he wants to raise more money off of tolls on the roads to help pay for more illegals to come into the state of Massachusetts. And then, I mean, you want to talk about a loser. Look at the 10 things he wants to share about him. This is on his own, it's on his homepage. Take a look at it. Number one, McGee attended game six of the 1975 World Series when Carlton Fisk hit a walk-off game-winning home run. Who cares? Number three, listen to this. He went helicopter skiing in Utah. Okay, you want a medal? This, oh, he worked as a dishwasher while living in Aspen, Colorado. Listen to this. Attended the Live Aid concert in Philadelphia in 1985 where Bob Dylan, Madonna, Mick Jagger, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Led Zeppelin, Tom Petty, and the Heartbreakers performed. Has visited 41 of the nation's 50 states. Who cares? Witnessed the miracle on ice team win the gold medal game in 1980 in Lake Placid, New York. I saw it on TV. You want to make me mayor now of Lynn? I saw it on TV. I cheered up and down. We, we beat the Ruskies. Uh, I, this, honestly, this, this is sick. And, uh, this is from 781. Uh, you can text us 680, 680, Jeff, and he's going from a senator to a mayor. Just to pad his retirement pocket. Bingo. Uh, 617. Jeff, another aspect of this scheme is the loss of our privacy. All tolling must be removed. It's about control. They want to know where everywhere you go and when. Uh, dead on, by the way. Spot on, 617. 781. Jeff, if you put tolls on all those roads, your listeners need to understand that not only will we be paying the toll, but you've been paying more for milk, 
clothing, gasoline, and automobiles, and then you buy what you're going to pay for more. Well, yeah, I mean, you're completely right. It raises the cost of everything. Because, you know, truckers or whatever, you're bringing stuff in, so you're charging, you know, you, you, I don't know, you're bringing a shipment full of bread. Bang, you got to pay the toll. They're going to pass it on to you. Now, I got to tell you, they're going to kill me. If, if they do what they're planning to do, my drive is from Southern Mass right near Gillette. So I'm going to be, I go up Route 1, toll, bang. 95, toll, bang. On the pike, they already nail me. Toll, bang. I mean, you got you got me on three tolls. I mean, it's going to cost me what twenty bucks to go to work, and then you hit me on the way back. Pike, bang, ninety five, bang, Route One, bang. I pay two fifty in tolls every day. I mean, this is this is highway. This is literally now. This is highway robbery. This is freaking highway robbery. And how many people use ninety three? Ay ay ay, ay ay ay. ay. And then, and they're going to get you everywhere. They're getting you on Route 2. They're getting you on Route 1. They're getting you on Route 128. I mean, they're going to nail you. They're going to nail all of us. All over. You see, crime, that, crime does pay. That's what happens when you have a one-party state, a mafia state run by the Democrats with no real opposition. They run the state into the ground. They line their pockets, these corrupt politicians. With their retirements, with their health care plans, with their, their benefits packages, and all of their friends and cronies they load up in government, there's never any, any accountability whatsoever. And it's like taking blood from a stone. You just keep squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. Now, let me throw one more log on the fire, and then I want to jump into the phone calls. As you know, Amazon, right, the big tech giant, is looking for a second headquarters. They're looking for a second place, kind of like a co-headquarters. And they're now taking bids from numerous cities all over the country. Massachusetts, in particular Boston, but even in Massachusetts, Somerville, uh, I know other cities are, I mean, aggressively, extremely aggressively, are now going all in to get what's called Amazon 2, the second headquarters. And they're, they're, uh, uh, Marty Walsh has offered the seaport. Charlie Baker says, I don't care what city you take, take Boston, take Somerville, take Cambridge, take whoever, but just give it to Massachusetts. And they're offering all kinds of tax benefits, sweeteners, you name it. It's a $5 billion project, so a lot of construction, a lot of jobs, a lot of employment. Here's the problem. A lot of people at the top, the top heads of Amazon, are very reluctant to come to Massachusetts. Why? Too much traffic and congestion already. Already. I spend three hours a day in the car. An hour and a half going in. And an hour and a half going home, if I'm lucky. Some days it takes me two hours to get home. Now, if I'm an Amazon guy, I'm going to say, look, fine, you can throw all these tax benefits and everything else on the table. And, you know, tell me how beautiful the seaport is and the high rise and Boston's got Logan Airport and blah, 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 blah. You can't move. So when are my employees going to actually make it to work? How are they going to get home? And on top of this, you want to start throwing in even more tolling? I know it's electronic, but still, you want to throw in even more tolling? With this ridiculous easy pass? Whereby you get letters? You know how many times I get letters from them saying I didn't pay? I go, of course I paid. Well, our camera didn't properly catch your license plate. That, that's your problem. How is that my problem? So you want to pay $250, you go through all these easy pass tolling, well, they didn't get their, they didn't read your card correctly or they didn't read your license plate correctly. It's going to lead to even more problems, more traffic, more congestion. It's going to, it's going to squeeze the middle and working class. It's going to bleed us white. My friends, enough is enough. We're already taxed 
too much. We're already told too much. Not one more freaking toll. Not one. Agree, disagree, your calls. Next. Okay, a proposal now by State Senator Thomas McGee, Moonbat McGee. He's also a mayoral candidate in Lynn against Judy Kennedy. They now want to put tolls pretty much everywhere. On 93, 95, Route 1, Route 128, Route 2, anywhere. Literally, you're going to see tolls everywhere. They want to begin by the end of next year. They say they needed to pay for the roads, the highways, and for the MBTA. And here's the kicker. They want to increase the tolls during rush hour. So when you're coming into work or leaving home from work, you're going to pay even more. 617-266-6868. Good idea, bad idea. David in Norwell. Go ahead, David. Hi, Jeff. Hey, thank you for, for covering this. The, the Atkinson article in the Herald is terrific. I recommend everybody buy a copy of the Herald and read it. It was superb. Go online. The one thing I would point out is that the, the bill, by the way, is Senate uh, 1959. And um, we've already been ginning up a fair amount of uh, discussion against it. I would encourage everyone in the Metro Loop, that is, everyone that's boarded by 95 or 93, and everyone who commutes into Boston to call their state representatives and their state uh, senators. If you're from Norwell, Hanover, or Rockland, your state representative already opposes it because that's me. But uh, you need to, you, they need to contact their representatives and let them know that they don't need any more surreptitious taxation. This is aimed squarely at the men and women who are going to work every day from the suburbs. Absolutely. Mike, you're a thousand percent correct, and thank you for calling in and keep up the good work. Okay, you want to call State Senator Tom McGee? He's the guy that's pushing this. This is the number. Please call him and tell him no. Absolutely not no. 617-722-1350. Call, ring his line off, I mean, ring, ring his phone off the hook and say, no, we are taxed and told enough. Mike in Weston, go ahead, Mike. Hey, thank you for taking my call there, Jeff. My pleasure, Mike. I, I drive down from New Hampshire down to the Waltham area. In Route 3, 120, 120, just tap, tap, tap on the brakes. I agree with you. They're not going to take money and improve the roads. It's going to go to keep Massachusetts a sanctuary state and whatever else they want to do. 93, at 5 o'clock in the morning, going southbound into the city is all headlights. So when does the rush hour start? It starts around 4.35 in the morning and probably goes until 9 or 10 in the morning. I mean, we're trapped. There's, you know, you want to leave at midnight to get to work so you avoid the toll? No, you're not going to do that. So I agree with you. Uh, they're, they're still reeling from when our buddy Jeff Steele Stop the, the tax increase, That's the automatic right. gasoline tax. That's right. We're reeling from that. So, you know, on, ma- on the mass pike, as you're probably aware, from Framingham into the cities, over a dozen tolls overhead. I've counted them. Oh, I know. Oh, Mike, it's disgusting. And, lo- and thank you for that call, Mike. Look, they tried to automatically raise the gas tax. We blocked them. So now they're trying it with the tolls. Now, I'm telling you we're going to win on this. If we call and we put enough pressure on our state reps and state senators, because we're not going to take it. I mean, we have the numbers on this one, overwhelming numbers, okay? And uh, as Mike, one of the state reps who called in, put it, this is aimed specifically at middle working class people who work in the greater Boston area. That's, it's aimed, it's, it's a target right on our back for the hacks at the MBTA for the hacks at the Department of Children and Families, for the hacks on welfare, for all of the Democratic hacks and the hackorama. That's what this is all about. So, and I'll tell you when they're going to hit you. They're going to make rush hour. Trust me, it's going to be 5 in the morning until 10 in the morning. Blank you. They're going to hit you from 2 in the afternoon till 7 at night. Blank you. That's when they're going to raise the tolls. 
So they're going to put all these tolls, 95, 93, 128, Route 1, Route 2. There's going to be a lot more. I'm just naming you some of the big ones. And you're going to be told no matter what, every time you go. But when it's rush hour, Monday to Friday, they're going to raise it even more. So I'm telling you right now, I'm, if this thing passes, I'm hitting three to four tolls every day on my wind to work, my way in, and on my way back. And because I'm a working man, I drive during rush hour, right? I got a family, I got two little kids. I can't come into work at midnight. I want to be paying even more. So... You want to pay fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars a day just to go to work? This is the proposal for you. Now, let me ask you this: in all seriousness, you pass something as as colossally stupid and confiscatory as this, the taxpayers are going to leave. I mean, no, really. I mean, there's a certain point where you say, "How do I live?" And then Jared made an excellent point. He said, "No, Jeff. Their attitude is come and live in the city." So you got to pay two, three million dollars for some uh, 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 fixer upper in downtown Boston, or if you want to, you know, schlep in from the suburbs, we're going to bang you up good. The cost of housing in Boston has become so outrageous. Now I think it's what half a million dollars for a crack den. Even even the crack addicts are now complaining, saying, "Hey, hey, who can afford these prices?" And now you want to hit us up with tolls? Enough's enough. Call him right now, 617-722-1350. No more tolls, not one. Let's take it to Evan Heidenrich. 238 here on the great WRKO. All right, as one of the texters put it, it's Taxachusetts, baby. So there is now a proposal by Mr. Magoo. Uh, Thomas M. McGee, State Senator Tom McGee, or I like to call him, as one of the texters put it, uh, Tom Magoo. So there's uh, Tom Magoo, who now is pushing a bill that is gaining steam among Democrats up on Beacon Hill that would dramatically increase tolls being put all across Massachusetts. In particular, they want to raise a lot more money, they say, to maintain the roads, the highways, also to pay for the MBTA, especially all the massive lucrative pensions. So what they want to do now is they want tolls on 93, tolls on 95, tolls on Route 1, Route 2, Route 128. By the way, in that Lynn area, because he's a state state senator from Lynn, he's actually challenging Judy Kennedy for the mayoral um, in the mayoral race, Route 107. You're going to see a nice, big, fat, juicy toll right there. And not only do they want to put tolls everywhere, but to maximize the cash grab, they want to punish, in particular, middle working class people during rush hour. So the tolls will be there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, even on the Linway, you're going to see tolls also on the Linway. So it's going to be everywhere. Uh, but during rush hour, 5 in the morning till 10 in the morning, 2 in the afternoon till 7 at night, the tolls will be even increased to, they say, discourage people from driving, taking the subway, the bus, take a bike, whatever it is. Um, they say that, and by the way, his argument, this is the argument, it's not fair to only have tolls on certain roads and highways. There should be tolls, according to him, on every major highway, byway, and serious roadway in Massachusetts. This way, it'll be fair. In other words, it's not enough that we're just tolling some people. To make it fair, we've got to toll everybody all of the time. I swear to you. 617-266-6868 is the number. Um, this is from 978. Uh, Jeff, is he competing for most interesting man? <laughs> No, I, I know when you look at his silly, bi- his silly bio, <laughs> like he attended Game Six of the nineteen seventy five World Series with Carlton Fisk hit a walk off game winning home run. Like who cares? Helicopter skiing in Utah. Okay, uh, attended some Live Aid concert in Philadelphia. He visited forty one of the nation's fifty states. Well, you know what? I visited forty two of the nation's fifty states. There you go. Uh, Mr. Magoo. 
617-266-6868 is the number. Okay. Uh, he is the son of former of Thomas W. McGee, former Speaker of the Massachusetts House of Representatives. So it's in their blood. You know, they just got to gouge the taxpayers, you know, on behalf of Hackerama, the hacks. So that's what it is. It's take the money from the peasants to redistribute it to the hacks. That's the game. All right. He was answering this number. He's running from all of you, so you're going to get his voicemail, but still call the number. 617-722-1350. 617-722-1350. This is his campaign headquarters running for mayor. Please give him a call there. So he's turned off the cell phone because he's running from all of you. Call this number, 781-598-2017. 781-598-2017. And he supports Sanctuary State for Massachusetts. So the money that he wants from these tolls, he wants to also pay for illegals for welfare, housing, and EBT for the illegals. So you're going to get up every morning, 20 bucks going into work, 20 bucks going back from work. It's going to be for people on welfare and illegals. Blank you. 617-266-6868. CJ in Boston. Go ahead, CJ. Hey, Jeff. Thanks for taking my call. That was exactly my point at 10 o'clock this morning when I called when I called Senator McGee's office. And told him if he's looking to, to close the deficit in the budget, he should be, uh, he should stop the entitlements the, to the illegals, which is costing the taxpayers of the Commonwealth approximately one, two point two billion dollars a year. And on top of that, Jeff, to add, uh, insult to financial industry, uh, uh, injury, what he wants to do here is he wants to finance the ferry system and the communal rail system to which we are not using. Uh, which is which is a separate issue on which the MPTA should have been privatized many years ago and, get, and getting off the back of the taxpayers. But if the if your listeners want a better number to call, how about Charlie Baker's number? At 617-725-4005. 617-725-4005. And give, uh, give Charlie Baker an air Pull the and nip this in the oh, I'm with you. Look, I, I, I'm calling out Charlie Faker right now, Chicken Charlie. Either you say you're going to veto this, come hell or high water, or I'm telling you, you're really finished. You are so finished, it's not even funny, politically. Oh, are you finished? You can text us, by the way, 680, 680. This is from 774. Jeff, people will continue to leave Massachusetts if this new toll measure goes through. You think, 774. Ay, ay, ay. 781, Jeff, I live in mayor. McGee, I call him Magoo. Uh, Mr. Magoo is running for mayor. May God help us. <laughs> and you know, what I find incredible is this. You've got crime in Lynn. You've got gangbangers in Lynn. You've got, I mean, uh, 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 crumbling infrastructure in Lynn. You, th- I mean, the place is falling apart. How about fishing some dead bodies out of a fish pond, for God's sakes? Not really, honestly. Whatever, Flax Pond, whatever it's called. How about fishing some bodies out of there? I mean, Lynn is a mess. It's overrun with opiates, drugs, illegals, gangs. And this guy's going after hardworking people who just want to go to work? It's, I said this to Brittany. She flew into my, she flew into the studio. She was mad as hell. I said, Brittany. Look, I got news for you. You're now waking up to what it is to be a citizen of Massachusetts. They want to take all the money out of your pocket and redistribute it to their hacks and to the special interests. This is how Magoo, he learned this from his father. This is how you get reelected. You take our money, give it to the illegals, the welfare deadbeats, and the hacks, and they just keep reelecting you. That's, that's how the game is played. Until you kiss, kill the golden goose. Then you just leave. And then there's nothing. But they don't care because they've already lined their pockets by then. Uh, 617, Jeff. But Tommy McGee was one of the most corrupt ever in the Commonwealth. A party boss with Bulger. Well, with Mar- with uh, Whitey Bulger. Well, that's what I said. I said this to Brittany, off, which I think got caught on the air. 
These crooked politicians, I swear to God, make these gangsters like Whitey Bulger look honest. They're even more corrupt than these mobsters were. I swear. Even Whitey, as bad as he was, Whitey, come on, man. Are you going to stick up everybody on the highway and the you know on the roads and as they're trying to get to work? Nah. Come on. Somebody's got to go to work. Leave them alone. Not these guys. Uh, this is from 781. Jeff, I'm from Lynn. He will lose the election when people find out about this. That's why I'm trying to get the word out there, uh, 781, for him to lose and for us to kill this measure now. Joe in Lynn. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, yeah, I'm calling because i got a good log to throw in the fire. He tried to pull a stunt at the end of the session last year, just before Christmas. He slid legislation into the bottom of the pile that would have granted uh, driver's licenses to illegals. It was reported in the, Salem, uh, the Salem Evening News. This guy's unbelievable. It's the truth. i got the clip. In no, it. I believe you. <laughs> Joe, oh, Joe, I believe you. He's a snake. Uh, Joe, I'm just curious. You think if the hardworking citizens, the residents of Lynn, if they hear about this, you think this is going to put Judy Kennedy over the top? Oh, man. Everybody I talked to, we we beat the back those two schools. They wanted to float a $91, billion, $91 million uh, bond to build two new schools to accommodate all the illegals. And, and uh, it went to the voters, and it got knocked out two to one. Uh, we're going to have to beat this one back again, Joe. Well, we got to fight. <laughs> got to fight. we got to fight. Uh, Joe, what else can we do? That's all. Take care, buddy. 617-266-6868. Brittany, I, I mean, I know you're just uh, itching at the bit here. Over, I mean, I feel, no, honestly, I feel bad for you because I think I'll survive no matter how much they screw us. But, you know, you're 28 now. You just had your birthday. By the way, happy birthday a couple days ago. I mean, you're a hardworking taxpayer. How are you going to survive? If this continues for another three, four, five years, I mean, what, honestly, what's going to happen, Brittany? I don't know. I pay nearly $700 a year in taxes already. And um, on my way home, I cut through Lynn. So, Hold you know. On. You, you mean you pay tolls? In tolls. What did yeah, I say? You said taxes. Oh, sorry. Tolls. Oh, you pay a hell of a lot more in taxes. <laughs> oh, you sorry. Pay a lot no, more. in tolls, I pay sa- almost 700 going, you know, over the Tobin Bridge every day. And then I cut through Lynn to get home. So now I'm going to be taxed going through Lynn. They're going to nail you in Lynn. I mean, I don't know. I hope people take down their Tom McGee signs in Lynn that I see everywhere once they find out about this. It's, this is insane. And, you know, during the debate with Judy Kennedy the other day, um, he was asked about the sanctuary city and he wouldn't answer. So that, mean, pretty, that means he's for it. Of course. I mean, if he's for the sanctuary state, of course he's for a sanctuary city in Lynn. They have a huge problem there. So hopefully a lot of people hear about this, give him a call, and hopefully, you know, he doesn't win in Lynn, and then he gets voted out at <laughs> the state senate. 781-598-2017. That's his mayoral campaign headquarters. Just give him a call. Just honestly, just say, uh, no, disagree on this one. Blank off. Uh, Rich in Boston. Go ahead, Rich. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm good. How are you, Rich? Um, It was interesting. When they took down the tolls, there was a lot of big ballyhoo about taking down the tolls, but they replaced them with double the amount of toll um, areas. Going on the western part of the state, you never had a toll for miles and miles. Now you have two tolls in the middle of that. People don't even know they're driving down. There's an interesting thing that happened to me. I went on the uh, pipe only for one exit there at Watertown twice. And I got a bill for three times that, and I got the bill three times. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I, I sent the check to pay, and I said, I'd, I'd like you to send me an audit of every time I went to a toll booth. I've been waiting for six months for the audit to come back to me. I requested something that they should be able to send out to me and say, this is how many times you run the pike. And it would say less than what I was made to pay. That's my first point. Another point I wanted to make to you, this has, been, this has been thought about for a long while as far as I can see, because I have a pet peeve. If you notice a lot of places that used to have two lanes of traffic, like going over the BU Bridge, it yes. used to be like four lanes to go to one way, to the other way. It's yes. now down to two lanes, and one of those lanes, even though it's a lane, it's a bike road. So you can have a bike going two miles, 20 miles an hour in front of you in the middle of the lane of the BU Bridge. All sorts of places, the split at Braintree, Used to be three lanes to go to the Cape, two lanes to go to Braintree. It's now two lanes to go to the Cape, two lanes. They've narrowed the roadways so that it forces a traffic jam. 
The problem with it is they want to force people on public transportation, understand their thought process. But the worst part about it is, look at we could lose Amazon and 50,000 jobs because we've destroyed the traffic pattern. Oh, well, you nailed it. Commonwealth. Bingo. Rich, you nailed it. And you mentioned the bike paths, and you're completely right. Let me tell you something else. Those electrical companies... They're always there digging holes on the road. Have you noticed that? Everywhere I go, construction. Look, what are they? What, you guys mining gold down there? They're digging stuff up, so they're always closing off lanes. That's another reason why there's so much freaking traffic. I'm like, what are they? So what's the construction today? Or go to go here. The 95, as I do, I they built with slave manual labor thousands of years ago the great pyramids. I don't know what they're doing on 95, faster than what they're doing on 95. So you have this don't kill the job construction mentality, digging up everything under the sun, bikeways, you name it, there's traffic galore. And now, as we sit there in traffic day after day, you want to come in and bang me up with more tolls? I mean, really? No. Blank me? No. Blank you. All right, if you want to give uh, Mr. Magoo a call, uh, Moron McGee, it's 781-598-2017. That's his, those are, I think, his campaign headquarters for mayor. However, I think this is his personal cell phone. Ah, give that one a call, too. 617-722-1350. Joe in Dorchester. Go ahead, Joe. Jeff, I um, have so many things to say about this. I'm a completely opposed and uh, i didn't know he was running for mayor of lowell or lynn 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 okay uh does he have a republican opponent in that race and can well, you he's get got him judy kennedy talk to him yeah no the current mayor is judy kennedy and i think she's actually pretty good to be honest is there a republican in the race judy kennedy is. i just want to harass him that's what i want to do yeah no no joe i mean it's it's judy this. kennedy it's it's down to him and judy kennedy Oh, okay. I don't know anything about that local area of politics. Anyways, my original point is we have a gas tax that takes care of crumbling roads and bridges, and I noticed in your uh, ex explanation of why we have the tax, the number one thing is we've got to fix these crumbling roads and bridges. Crumbling roads and bridges is right up with there with do it for the children. It's what Democrats roll out to jack your taxes through the roof. People of Massachusetts, leave the Democrat Party because they have left you. Amen. Amen. Jim in his truck. Jim, I've got one minute. Go. Yeah, Jeff, I told you a couple of months ago, they keep pushing like this. They're asking for civil war. <laughs> no, let's just call them. We don't need to pick up a gun. Let's just call them. And by the way, really, what is, I mean, we're already paying a massive gas tax. That's supposed to take care of the roads, right? So tell them, steal less. If you stole less, you wouldn't have to be putting more tolls. Okay, very quickly, 781-598-2017. And even give his cell phone a call. What the hell? 617-722-1350. I got to go. Bye-bye. The cool voice of Boston is... You, 680 WRKO Boston, 93.7 WEEI HD2 Lawrence, Boston. It's 3 o'clock. So I'm a cat, and I just moved in with this new human, and she's got this little toy she's always playing with all day long. Tap, 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 bloop, bloop. She can't put it down. There it is. Oh, and get this. She even talks to it. Last week, she asked it for Chinese, and guess what? Egg roll showed up. Like magic. Humans have cool toys. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org.